second video series uh, where we are going to create our very first page on uh, our now experience and i have uh, milap with me hey milap how are you hey good good how are you akash i'm fine milap thanks for asking and milap so what we are going to do today is we are going to create our very first page login page that we have selected on auth route in now experience and uh, for that login page we have already uploaded one image in our image database and we gonna give this uh, image in our links to download when you are playing with now experience so what i am going to do is i am going into ui builder i have already selected my panda tag and i am going to create our very first page and this one what we are going to do is login page we don't need to create any kind of page template but we can obviously create uh, we can obviously use any kind of page template in future pages let's create this one we obviously don't need any kind of page uh, parameters and variant so we'll just click done and here what i am going to do is i'm going to select the container and inside this container what uh, layout we gonna choose so for now for this demo let's use the uh, last but one yeah that's okay. the one with uh, the banner and the sidebar yeah so we'll put all the banners and everything on the left and right hand side would be for the to key in the username and password okay great so now what we are gonna do is we are going to select here text yep i think we should choose this one slice text and here let's say welcome to panda tag and attack yeah and now i can use styles here to make it centralize or styles but but uh, we will use something even better uh, to make it centralize so while if you see on the left hand side there is the the container section there is a main section click there and here you just say align items center and there you go like whatever you put in there it would be center okay so. great so now i'm gonna put another stylized text and let me put it as where pandas meet technology yeah and obviously we can change the tags here instead of h1 h2 and anything we can put it as a span as well so it will have the styling uh, obviously and let me save as well but uh, I, can you uh, just do me a favor like add this uh, font size let's just put uh, style as you mentioned about it so let's let's put a 20 pixel uh, styling to it font size yeah yeah it is giving me uh, uh, it is giving me helper functions as well here yeah perfect okay now we can go ahead and add though that that image after that yep image here i'll select i'll copy this name that i have uploaded and obviously i can uh, put any kind of fitting css here as well and now uh, hey it's come here wow it it's looking great let me just yep. save it now let's do one thing let's add login header itself yeah so here uh before you do do that um mm -hmm. i would like you to uh, put some background color to it right so it looks better mm -hmm. so while sidebar selected would you mind uh putting some css properties like uh, align item center yeah then put like a background color as a color as like white smoke or something white smoke you oh. just 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 say white smoke white smoke oh yeah. we are having direct colors as well great yeah and uh, if you can do it on the top as well like you see that justify say, uh, content just put center there okay so yeah that's that that's one thing which is not there so you have to add it manually but it works so just say justify content so basically what we're doing is whatever content we put there that should be centralized from vertically horizontally both so that's what we are doing right now and then we'll add the component so here also we'll just add one component let's say first again the stylized one. text yeah. yeah that's my favorite one <laughs> and uh, just say login to pro something like that 
Here also you can say span tag. Okay. Span is so oh, very little. Okay, what we can do is in the style we can, there, yeah. yeah. Let's see font size is 36 px. Though we should not play with px, but that's fine for right now. Padding yep. again 30 px. Usually, I would suggest to go with uh, REMs and something like that. So, you know, yeah, yeah. And it's let's put pictures. some weightage as well. Let's say 600. It's yeah. good enough. It's good enough now. I have saved this one. And what we are going to do is we are going to now add login. Uh, login component. Okay. So here, if we want to add any kind of logo or anything, or otherwise we can have it in this way. And uh, we can also put uh, SSOs as well, right here? Correct, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yeah, forget password and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we play around this component more, definitely, mm -hmm. uh, in, in later series, but yes, you can certainly do that. Okay. There are a bunch of properties here. So uh, I have also saved this page. Now to test it out, I'll just open our incognito window and here I'll have my instance and my URL is now slash panda tag. If you want to put login, that's fine. If not, that's also fine. So right now that that is one issue that you guys will find that uh, you are not able to view your login page even if you change it it has redirected it but our page is not found here the reason is still this page is not public so in the next video we are gonna see that how we are going to have our this page as a public page but but for for now uh, before we end the note right just close this window and uh, while that session is open uh, can you just click on open there okay uh, it should it should show up here yep yep so this is how it's gonna look like yeah it has already screen. said that my session has expired i'll click on login and the best part is without you doing anything it, mm. it just works yeah, yeah if you have SSO works. set up behind the scene that login just just works yep but in the next video we're gonna see that how we gonna have this as a public page Yep.